Here we go. And we are in Tokyo. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not in Tokyo. This is Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. we, we actually just decided to meet up before heading into JCCS. We're gonna cruise in together. But it's just a kind of a quiet moment to reflect before it gets really hectic all day. We're gonna be shooting all day. I'm gonna be featuring cars. We're gonna meet as many owners as possible. I can't believe it's done. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm really excited. Oh. All right, we're gonna head out. Here. Another two pack of Matchbox car. Look at this guy. Hey, get that camera on my face. What's going on? Oh man, I'm just checking out this Datsun right here. Look at this thing. Sheesh. Sheesh. 510. Hey, this one. This one's my favorite. Also, look at this one over here, Lord. Shane, is this the first time you've been to a Japanese classic car show? This might be, but this is so bad, Larry. I thought you do cameras for a living. Oh, is it really dirty? dirty. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, this That's is my this is my it. first Japanese car show. Shame. Dude, this might be one of my favorite cars here. This thing is perfect. No you like it? No well, I hope not because I've only driven it 30 miles or so since oh, it got finished. <laughs> yeah. Oh dude, Larry, how many cars do you have? You know, the thing is, um, it's one of those things like I've only shot this show a couple times and I've always wanted to have a car here the fact that i have two cars here for my first time showing just not just two cars though a mint skyline and a mint Datsun. yeah so stoked on it so happy that it's here i edited the video yeah of uh, the whole process of this it's not just new paint they took out like how much rust in bondo yeah. do they take it out so this much car? It was a lot. It's very exciting. I'm proud of you, Larry. Yeah. You did. Well, so let's not talk about it too much because we're okay, going to do a yeah. whole video on it. But let's choose five cars. We're actually going to walk the show and I'm going to choose five of my favorite cars at the show. This one in the Honda booth is something else. It's a 1984 Mugen CRX and it's so cool because to me it's so much about the fact that it's like a time capsule that I love. Um, this was actually a prototype car that they used to develop parts including look at those wheels like I just know these are so rare but look how cool it is. How, how cool is it that they have these um, like characters in it? I love, I love this. Ah, this guy caught me. No, I'm on the Hoonigan stories now. This is it. One out of five cars. I just love this thing so much. It's beautiful. Look at this. Even even down to the shut off, the safety shut off. It's just right there on the hood. Look at those seats. Daytonas. How cool is that? Alright, so first car is a Honda. Next one is a little bit more 
my flavor. I mean, this, while it is my flavor, I'm not a big Honda guy, but I can appreciate this so much. I love this car so much. Yo. Whoa, Hood again. Hey, what's up? Wow. You don't even tell me that you finished You're your so goddamn car. I finished it last night at nine. Oh, really? Yeah. In true Hoonigan I, fashion. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I felt kind of like, I was like, man, Larry didn't even tell me. <laughs> wow, it looks great, though. Thank you. Man, I gotta check this out. Hi, Amy. Shooting with this. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you brought the heat? I did. Yeah. Oh, my Bangers goodness. Only. Bangers only. Oh, I see that. <laughs> you can't come to JCCS and not feature a 240Z, but this one's a little bit different. This is a 240Z sport brake. It's the only one in the world and it just looks so interesting. This actually kind of reminds me of the 944 DP that I've shot before at uh, DP Motorsports. The guy actually took a regular 944 and made it a sport brake. This thing kind of gives me that same vibe, uh, but it's just so cool because you've just never seen anything like it before. Like I, I mean, they did it such a good job with it. I mean, apparently, this is um, one that was a concept that was never allowed to be shown or made. I like it a lot. What's been happening is I'm like, all right, here's my top five cars. I go up to the car and I'm like, this is too good. So we have to make a full video. So we've been skipping a bunch of cars because we're doing full videos on that. So don't worry if we're not getting enough good cars. Um, I did want to include this. This is kind of a cool trend that I've been seeing recently. I've seen a bunch of these where they actually take luxury sedans and they actually turn them into off-road vehicles. Mud Alux Anti-VIP VIP Club. This thing is so cool. I mean, it's functional. I'm sure it's comfortable. It has some rally lights. Yeah. No, well, yeah, that's yes. our, my car right there. That's your car? Yeah. I need to stay by your car. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. kicking yeah. everybody yeah. else out. Yep, I'm right there, right here. It's a man's car right here. I, I know. It's a V8. <laughs> this is the most reliable car here, probably. Oh yeah. This tell probably you, has more. What, this better. probably has more miles than any other car here. It's definitely a cheap way to have fun. This thing is awesome. I love it. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about the paint. But I, I like that track. I really do. So this is uh, legit the most expensive car here. Pull up the auction. Without a doubt the most expensive Japanese car in existence. It's about a million dollars, maybe more now. So cool. Japan's first supercar. Oh, 1.2 million dollars. Oh, wow. So yeah, in terms of cars that I absolutely love, my favorite one, my dream car that I'll never own, but I can look up to and I can enjoy from far away, 2000 GT without a doubt. It's so beautiful. Okay, this is car number five. Out of all of the cars that I chose today that I absolutely love, this one is the one that I would drive every single day as a daily driver. It's basically driving an off-road couch. It is the 40th anniversary. I think it's a 1997 FJZ80, if I'm not mistaken. But while this looks pretty stock, I just love the kind of little touches that the owner did to it to make it his own with the uh, bug deflectors and the rain covers on the windows. But the thing that really is the craziest thing I've never seen before, and I'm super excited to see that it actually exists, is this owner put Watanabe's on this truck. It's so cool. I can't believe how good it looks. It just looks right at home. Um, let's see, what size are these? 285, 75, 16. That is unbelievable. It fits and it looks so good. And I love everything about it. It's funny because I've been going to the Toyota Museum every now and then. And wow, there's so many cool cars there that are basically zero mile cars. The ones that I really love and the ones that I want to just drive out of there are the Land Cruisers and the old pickup trucks. This one is a prime example of something that is just, I don't know, just perfect. It's just so beautiful. I love it. 
Oh, check that out. Check out that little spoiler on the top. That, like, wind deflector. Very cool. 